Well, I hope you enjoyed this weekend. Certainly a nice, refreshing change of pace from a long, hot summer and early fall. I want to show you this weather spotter photo from Deborah Harsh. This from Stewart. Just a gorgeous sunrise this morning. So thank you, Deborah, for taking that. And it was a little chilly at sunrise this morning. Our low for West Palm Beach this morning, 52 degrees. The high was 77 degrees. And in Vero Beach, the morning low, 43 degrees, but the high nice and comfortable 76 degrees. So the gradual warming trend has already begun. Current temperatures right now low 70s across the East Coast metro areas of the Palm Beaches. A little bit cooler inland 64 Bell Glade, 68 Indian Town, 66 Okeechobee and mid to upper 60s across the Treasure Coast. Current wind speeds and the winds have everything to do with it. Yesterday at this time our winds were out of the northwest and tonight we're generally seeing winds out of the northeast East for the Treasure Coast, easterly winds for the Palm Beaches, and that onshore wind flow is always a lot warmer because it's coming off the ocean that's still about 80 degrees. So that will keep temperatures more mild tonight. Still a little bit on the cool side, though, down to 62 degrees Lake Worth, 61 West Palm Beach, and we'll also have a few clouds around that will help uh, suppress that radiational cooling, also keeping the temperatures a little bit warmer tonight than last night. All right, wake up temps Monday morning across the Treasure Coast, basically mid to upper 50s, 56 Indian Town and Okeechobee, Sebastian, the cool spots at 55 degrees with mostly clear skies. So here's the setup as we head into Monday. High pressure overhead. We have another area of high pressure off to our east. So we're going to be mild on Monday. A cool start, but a warm finish. Now notice here we have a front approaching the southeast United States. Now uh, that front, that rain won't get into our vicinity, but but as we head into Thanksgiving, we are watching another frontal boundary that is expected to move through on Friday. Along with it, maybe a few showers, but not a big uh, chance for heavy rain or thunderstorms. And then we basically stay dry right through next weekend. So you can see rain chances 0% Monday, Tuesday, then 10% Wednesday, Thursday, up to 20% on Friday when that front comes through. Boating looking really good the next couple days. In fact, all the way through Thanksgiving, but by Saturday, following the cold front, the surf will be up once again and we'll need small craft advisories. So your Thanksgiving forecast for South Florida, 82 degrees, mostly sunny and mainly dry. Can't beat it if you don't mind the warm stuff. Tonight, 55 degrees across the Treasure Coast, Palm Beaches, low 60s tomorrow where everybody's in the upper 70s, 79 for the Palm Beaches, 77 degrees, the Treasure Coast and seas improving for boaters. Seas only two feet tomorrow, inland waters will be smooth. Here's your seven day forecast. So we start out the week still on the cool side. Actually Monday 79. That's our average for this time of year. But by Friday right ahead of that cold front, it will still be warm 83 degrees, but down to the 70s for next weekend. And a nice early start to our chilly air. The chilliest air of the season was felt this weekend, and it was chilly in Vero Beach this morning, 43 degrees. West Palm Beach, Arlo was 52, but a very warm finish made all the way up to 77 degrees, only 2 degrees below our average for this time of year. It was a beautiful day, and look what Ed Mullen captured on Juno Beach. Now, this is just a proposal. You can't read it, but that actually says, marry me. So so if he went all out for a proposal like that, I guess the wedding's going to be pretty spectacular. Very nice. Ed Mullen also taking this uh, sunrise from Jupiter earlier today. Tom Byrne showing off those beautiful blue skies from Loxahatchee. And Lisa Trout sending this in from Jupiter with the sun shining right behind the trees there. Thank you to our first alert weather spotters. It's already pretty chilly inland. 54 degrees Okeechobee, 59 Indian Town, 59 Wellington Bell Glade 53, but it's a different story near the coast right now. 63 West Palm, 65 Boynton and 63 in Boca Raton, 55 Fort Pierce and 55 Sebastian. So look at how much warmer we are from the same time last night. We're 13 degrees warmer in Stewart, 10 degrees warmer in Fort Pierce and Vero Beach and West Palm Beach. We are nine degrees warmer. So that warming trend has already started as this area of high pressure continues to slide to the east 
west are winds veer uh, first to the northeast and eventually to the east and east southeast as we head through the work week. And by Tuesday, we're looking at warmer conditions with high temperatures uh, near 90 degrees. So dry air stays in place much of the work week. We just get a frontal passage late, late Friday into early Saturday morning, mainly dry. We could see a few showers along with that front, but behind it, more dry air and cooler temperatures once again for next weekend. So you can see rain chances virtually zero over the next two days, but then they climb a little bit as we head into uh, Thursday and Friday. But this Thanksgiving, we can be thankful for a lot of sunshine, light winds, dry roads, no snow. We're thankful for the air conditioning because the high temperature is 82. I guess the only thing we're not thankful for on Thanksgiving Day is the cool temperatures, but other than that, we're looking just great. 82 degrees, mostly sunny skies, mainly dry conditions for tonight. Temperatures right around 55 degrees across the Treasure Coast, 61 for the Palm Beaches. Tomorrow for your Monday, 77 degrees, the Treasure Coast, 79, the Palm Beaches. Dry, warmer, mostly sunny skies, a lovely day, and good boating too. Seas two feet, inland waters will be smooth with a high tide at 349 in the afternoon. And here's your seven day forecast. There's that very gradual warm up 82 degrees by Wednesday. Just a slight chance of a stray shower. Thanksgiving day looking good. A temperature of 82 degrees. A little bit warmer on Friday 84. Back into the 70s for the weekend.